So a little while ago, I mentioned that I entered this online contest for $100,000 and uh, it involved a, a project of some kind and I proposed something. I'll, I'll show you the proposal in a second. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm making a video about it now for two reasons. One to say, yay, we made it through round one. Round one was like votes from people. So people went in and voted what ideas they liked and mine was in the top 50, so I get to go to round two. Round two gets judged by the people at the company. So this is this is at Dockers. It's a Dockers contest for a hundred thousand dollars. It's called Wear the Pants Contest. Anyway, <sighs> so there will be a bunch of suits sitting around going, "Oh, this guy wants to do this, eh? That sounds ridiculous." And we'll see how stuffy they are. So if I get to the top five, I might actually have a chance of winning. But whether or not I do win this hundred thousand dollars, this is a project I want to do, um, and it was kind of interesting that $100,000 was actually the amount of money I figured I would need to commit to the project. And you'll, you'll see why in a second. But whether or not I win this $100,000, I won't be able to build this thing alone or do this project and I'm going to need help. And that's one of the other reasons. That's the other reason I'm making this video. So the first thing I would need is like a kind of a lot of money. I mean, a lot to me, anyway. So if there's any, you know, multi-millionaires out there who want to put me in their will for $100,000 or so, <clears throat> feel free to write, it has to be for the giant walking robot fortress science school, or whatever. <clears throat> anyway, that would be... It's very, it's very humbling asking strangers for help. But I, I think this is something worth doing. Because the, the world could be a cooler place if this thing was in it. Anyway, this is the proposal I just sent to the company, so I'm just going to throw it out here. So, Jamie, insert the video here. This is my project in a very small nutshell, and from now on, I'll be represented by this alien baby. First, let's find a place where there's lots of cheap land. Oh, look, way over here might be good. Yay, let's go. Now begins construction on the human areas. Oh, Racist. Windmill! Yay, now we have power! Woohoo! Alright, we can live inside this building here while construction is happening. Jamie, you're totally out of your mind! That's okay, look what I found at Tim's junkyard! A whole bunch of pipes, and look, one of these! Get it on the crane and get it in place! Construction, construction, let's go! Rawr. Yay, look what I built! Jamie, you're still nuts! All right, get the house apart and put it on. Super fast time lapse speed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't believe you made that. <laughs> okay, Timmy, I've come to pick you up from science school. No way, Mom. This place is awesome. Check it out. Yoda's on the roof. Whoa. Okay, I know it sounds far-fetched, but if it was easy, there wouldn't be any point in doing it. Nice! And I've been requisitioned to put them up on the roof, which should be interesting. <laughs> okay, and then there's also a, a picture. There, there's three things you have to submit. Three. Uh, a video and a picture and an essay. So put the picture in here. Okay. 
Now, now the essay. Maybe I can get Deshana to read it. It's so cheesy. Oh, it kills me. I can't read it. Okay, go! Walking Fortress Science School. Imagine a future where kids talk about going to visit the humongous walking robot science school. And it isn't some cartoon or a wild imagination. It's real. My plan, for Jason, is to build a seven-story tall walking robot science school that will roam the wasteland of Los Alpes, Nevada. The lower section will have six legs that provide locomotion. The upper section will have roughly four to six stories of human space. It will be as self-sufficient as possible. There will be solar panels and wind turbines mounted on it, as well as garden and everything, as well as a garden and everything a person. Jamie, stop it! <sighs> and everything a person would need to survive. This will revolve around a science school that uses the systems of the school as real-life study material. The school's mobility will be a great way to explore different features of the surrounding environment. At first, lessons will be taught via the web, but as the machine becomes fully tested and safe, students will be admitted to learn at the school. Jamie and Bob, you'll be achieving this first right now. I understand that this seems like an almost impossible task. $100,000 isn't enough to complete a project of this magnitude using conventional means, and that I am burdened with convincing you that I can in fact make it happen. The most important ingredient in this project is a person who doesn't understand that it mean, what it means to quit. That is me. Feel free to look up Jamie Mansell online and it will become apparent that I am not a normal person. I live in a four story dome that I built on a mountain for $3,000. In order to get a 12,000 square foot workshop up there, I spent two months digging a road through the mountains by hand with no guarantee that I'd ever make it. I've already built a 12 foot tall version of the robot I'm proposing and it costs $0. Determination, creativity, and humbly accepting assistance in the form of donated money and materials made it possible. I've been documenting my projects online and I'm constantly asked if people can assist with big, big projects. I will partly rely on scrapyards and donated materials as well. The first step will be to put out the word that the project has begun and ask thousands of people online for help. People with scrapyards and old machinery will be catalogued. While that is happening, I'll draw the walking fortress in 3D on a computer. I'll analyze the stresses, factor in the available materials, and estimate the maximum size I can safely build, confirming all results with several engineers. I will guarantee that I can build a minimally acceptable size for the $100,000 with no assistance, but I will use anything to make it as great as possible. Next, I'll buy a plot of cheap land in Nevada, unless a better option becomes available. There is, of course, the possibility that someone will donate land to this cause. I can sell my current home to offset that cost. Once there, I'll buy a salvage, buy a fresh salvage, a truck capable of transporting materials, and start collecting parts. First construction First construction will be a building that will later be dismantled and rebuilt on the robot. At first, it will be housing and work area for constructing the robot. I plan to make it a dome similar to my current home, which has lightweight but incredibly strong construction. A portion of the solar panels will be purchased at this time, sufficient to power the welding equipment and other tools. The Nevada Sun should keep the project rolling along nicely. After that, will begin the grueling task of constructing pieces one at a time and assembling them. Beginning with the inner workings, moving on to the body and legs. Any pieces that cannot be found will be brought from surplus, brought from surplus. And I will adjust the designs to accommodate whatever sized bearings, gears, and shafts are available. Shaft are available. Wow. Once the walking platform is tested by remote from a safe distance, the original building will be dismantled and rebuilt atop the towering beast. This will be an epic multi-year project that I'm sure will have bumps and triumphs. Wow, that rhymed, Jamie. I feel that the world needs more amazing things, and I am confident I can make this happy happen. Jamie Mansell, Unstoppable Force. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. So what I'm asking is if there's anyone out there willing and able to help fund a project like this, <clears throat> let me know. And it could be one person with bajillions of dollars or like 10,000 people with 20 bucks each. Whatever. There's a lot of ways to make this kind of thing happen. Uh, now in the event that I get sufficient money to commit to this, I'll have to find someone who can help me set up a non-profit or whatever I need to do for that. But anyway, I'm basically committing to doing the project if I get $100,000. I mean, between the contest and saying this right now. Yeah. It's, it's a mighty huge project, but I, I'll totally commit to it.
until it's finished. I know there's got to be other people out there like me who, when they die, want to leave behind something other than a bunch of pollution. Something really cool that our kids can benefit from. And other people's kids. Future kids. And future adults. Just the future world. <laughs>